Sabbath blessings to you, brothers and sisters all over the world. I want to welcome you to the Herald Report Ministry. My name is Kudzai Chigogora, and today is a blessing. It's a blessed day which God has given us, and uh, I was just reflecting on the goodness of the Lord. There are quite a lot of things mentioned in the Bible about the Sabbath, and I remember Exodus chapter 20, verse 8, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all your work, but the seventh day, the Sabbath of the Lord, you shall do no work, and then it gives you the list of those who are not supposed to do any work, who are supposed to keep the Sabbath. Basically, your entire household is supposed to observe the Sabbath. But there is something unique which I want to highlight to you. My brothers and sisters, God has promised to put a separation between his people and those who are not of his, especially uh, in the book of Exodus, as he did to the Egyptians, that he blessed the Israelites Israelites and he actually cursed the he blessed the Israelites and he actually brought a curse upon the Egyptians and he said I will separate I'll put a separation between my people and those who are not my people and there is a unique blessing this blessing only comes by observing the Sabbath and I want to draw your attention to the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 58 from verse 13 the Bible says if thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath from doing thy own pleasure on my holiday and call the Sabbath a delight and the holy of the Lord honorable and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways, nor finding thy own pleasure, nor speaking thy own ways. We are told how we are to keep the Sabbath, how we are to observe the Sabbath. The Sabbath belongs to the Lord. It's not my Sabbath, but it's the Sabbath of the Lord. Now, we are given a promise in Isaiah chapter 58, verse 14. The Bible says, then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. So there is something called the heritage of Jacob, which God has promised. He is going to feed those who keep the Sabbath with the heritage of Jacob. And if there is something that we should pray for, let's pray for the heritage of Jacob, which God has promised. And today, it's a wonderful day. It's a blessed day. It's a unique day which God has given us. And it is his desire that we may join the host of heaven in keeping this blessed Sabbath holy. We look forward to see you next week as we continue. But as for today, it's a wonderful day as we're going to different churches. Today, we have a special message to deliver is a message of reformation as we, are as we are concluding on the campaign. May the Lord bless you. Shall we pray? Dear God, on this blessed Sabbath, we pray sincerely that uh, you may give us those blessings that you promise to those who keep the Sabbath holy. In Jesus' name, amen. So as you go to worship, as you go to do many different things, we pray that the Spirit of the Lord will lead you. And I look forward, or we look forward to see you next week. Uh, beginning of the week as the as the Lord as the Lord blesses. Until then, continue to be blessed. Blessed Sabbath.